Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode. Well, not the episode really. We are on the lovely, I always call it Webcraft, but it's the Mushroom Co server. And, whoa, that's wrong way. And today, well, I've started off with 96 levels. I did do some recording in between that last one as I showed you, but the, the clips that I was recording was actually the bits that I did not want to record, so... When I pressed record to start recording, it stopped recording. So I was talking to myself like a maniac. And the clips that I did not want recorded were recording. So, yeah. Not the best start off to things anyway. But what I have been doing since last episode is I've got rid of some of these chests here. And I've discovered, well, I've been working hard out in this lovely mess here. But I've now got a system where I put a lovely villager in here. I've, I've moved my villager systems so they all pop down. That was a quick change. So I've got a zombie converter thingamajig here. And it, it it was painful to try and... So we've got that there, got that there. And we've got one cured up here. I haven't got another trait done yet. But let's just chuck a smithing table down for him. Okay, smithing table is not the best example. Okay, so I've got a lectern here. And then let's see how... That's not the, not the best example in the world. Let's have a take two. Let's see if you're going to give me like a showing of a good book. So loyalty, 17, marked out for 38. Still not the best example, but it, it is, it's incredible of what books you can get from... People who have been marked down. Have I got two there? Well, this is lovely people here. But yeah, I need to stop blabbing on. But it's incredible what happens here. I've got some incredible ones so far. But that's all I'm going to show you for now. Because I've got some of them around here. But since the off cut, I have worked on... Let's go home two. I've cleared off all my old homes now. It's going to let me work. I have worked on a, ooh, hello, whoa, bit of a lag there. I've worked on a pigman farm here. Now, it's been broken for quite a while. I couldn't, I've spent quite a while trying to figure out how to get this thing to work. So I've been trying to figure out how to get this thing to work and just have to lower the volume down there. And it turned out I needed to add three detector pigs here. And yes, I do have fly on the server that I've had for quite a while, but it took... <laughs> it was painful to build this. I have not built something like this here in a long time. The last time I built something like this here was 2018, and I, I didn't have fly back. This wasn't this isn't my single player world. I didn't have fly back then, and it was painful. So anyway, I've got this... like All my chests are unlocked here, so if you come along here in the nether and you see this pillar here... Feel free, feel free to come along and use it, but just please don't grief it, but it works incredibly well. And another thing that I've worked on since the offcut, or since the last clip was in Warp sh Kiwi Shop. Now I've just wait a little bit here for me to load in. So it's not the biggest shop in the world. This is not the prettiest structure in the world either. But if we go in behind here, I've started expanding or clearing out an area. I actually discovered I had an extra chunk here. But it, is, it looks horrible, okay? It's trying to make it look pretty, really. But I am, I'm, not a, I'm not a builder. Like, I could not consider myself being anything close to a builder. But if we go along here... Oops, and just place in, oops, <laughs> place in some couple of strings here to stop that from growing. This is what I've been working on, a little stall sort of thing. And it's got our lovely pistons. Oh, I'm going to try and sell pistons, and that's why I build a gold farm. To have, I've, and I've got a slime area as well. But I want to try and sell powered rails and all that type of thing, because if you look on buy... Like, you can't buy Roush, you can't buy most of this stuff here. And another thing I've done is worked on getting the lovely locations of spawn here. So you can see these are done a few days ago. And 
this is me mapping our old spawn our old spawn at this time right now we are the 12th of what are we april january march yes we are we're the 12th of april it is easter sunday today and this is what spawn used to look like so i'm gonna cut to a clip now to what spawn now looks like <laughs> so i've j i had come along here before to the shelker shop to try and buy some bits and pieces but i walked over here i was like no so what what's up with this here I jumped down and just flew around for a bit. I was like, oh, the world's not loading in. So what did I do first? I logged out, logged back in, and then I told everyone, what's going on at... I was like, I, was like, what's, I, don't, I don't think the chat's still here. I was like, what's going on at slash warp old spawn? Because this is the one, I, the name I knew of. And they're like, oh, people start popping in. They're all appearing down here. And the world has been world edited out pretty much. And Shad pretty much just tried to fix it up and it crashed the server and now World Edit has broken. But looking at the size of this hole, it is honestly incredible how many blocks this was. I think someone talked before about 10 million blocks or something like that that has been deleted out of here. And it's, wow, it's just incredible. <laughs> There's still a couple of odd blocks floating around here, but... Really, like, it's it's incredible seeing everything just floating around. Oh, and all I was doing to come was to get a shulker box to get some wood for what I'm, for my shop that I'm working on. And yeah, it's just incredible. This huge area is just gone. I probably could walk here heaps quicker, like, looking around here, like, going, oh, I wonder if there's any diamonds along here. Like just walking around it. And it's weird how the world has actually left certain chunks and like this here hasn't actually fully hasn't actually fully cleared out the area. And it's weird how lava and that there well that's not lava, it's magma. But how lava and that's just floating. That is a lot of horses down there. How have they all survived? <laughs> A lot of chickens. There's a lot of stuff all around on the ground as well. There's a lot of blocks which have all deloaded now, but yeah. It's just completely gone. Hop and mine carts. Like, I'm not picking up anything on the ground when I come in because I don't want to steal anybody's stuff, but. <laughs> it's just incredible. Really? Really incredible if you look at that there. <laughs> oh, look at the size. Okay. I think I'm going to go back to what I'm doing now because I've, I've sort of clipped this video out of order than what I normally do. It doesn't matter too much because you guys have... Yeah. Incredible. So let's go back to what I was doing. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Incredible. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? It's just an empty void. It's... I don't know how someone's done that, but this... <laughs> I still love it. It's amazing. But yeah, this is my little map world here. And this is my terra... Or I don't know, I think I could call it terra for me. But this is my building sort of thing. I am... I'm a terrible builder, right? I a mess at doing things, but this is my attempt at making something. Try and sort of like it needs to do with some more up here. But yeah, that's all I've done between episodes, really. So I was just going to go ahead and clear a whole lot of trees in that there now, because I'm starting to work on stocking up these shops before I enter. And oh, I'm just going to reel it behind here. This is an empty area so far, but I'm going to work on having a landscaping section here. So so I don't think there's many um, flower or flowers. Like I want to have all the 16 different types of flowers I think there is. And then I want to work on getting other blocks such as grass, dirt, coarse, mycelium, and podzul. 
and then I want to have other blocks that people don't sell on the server. So I want to try and give a different view on what shops people have. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear out some trees now. So let's get right into clearing out some trees. Okay, everyone, I just warped into this lovely spruce biome here. So it's a slow little video recording of what it looks like, and I'm about to start chopping it down. So I might just quickly look at my recording that's there, and then I'll come back, and I'll show you what this looks like when I finish chopping down this place. So let's get into chopping it, and I'll probably speed it up quite a bit more. So let's go. Here we go everyone, we are now back after that little time let's say the server has been reset to start to fix that issue and this is the area we've cleared out here. As you can tell I'm a bit delayed of where I'm pointing but I can see there's a little fox over there. I'm just having to record this again because for some reason the audio is just completely whacked up. So this is my first time seeing little foxes in the game and they were just running so fast so and it's just those berries, those berry bushes were so irritating just prickling away. And then I was just walking around trying to figure out where the foxes are gone. So I would try and get one of those here as my friends. But they're running so fast, just like ocelots, pretty much. And I didn't really manage to get that amount of wood. But I thought I'd attempt to bring them up with some lovely rotten flesh. But no. No luck with that there. They just kept running away. Oh, oh he said that they can sit down. I was pretty impressed with that there. So I was just trying to walk around, try and find where he had gone. Jump round, I was like, oh, there you go, come on, I'm trying to get you. And then I was like, oh, you're stuck in a bush, I'm about to bring you in. And I was like, oh, what? You can pop berries off a bush, you can harvest them like that? Never knew you could do that in that poor little thing. And I was like, oh, can you silk touch them as well? Because it'd be cool if you could ever just a plain looking green bush. No, no, couldn't break off your hands. Silk touch, did not work. So yeah, that's what I figured out. That's what I really talked about in this little area here. But anyway... That's all I've really got for you now. And we just keep going along. And I did pop back and I'm going to show you guys the spore now. What it looks like. And it was good that they fixed all up. Then I quickly had to re-log. Because the, I thought, oh yeah, the signs must be all fixed and it's all invisible. But I love the little look of the bells as you can see just there. Probably a bit of out of whack now, but the pals you can see there with the sticks would be quite cool if you just have a stick sticking out of a tree. That'd be a good little feature. Yeah, get a little jumping around in that there. And that there's what the spawn looks like. So let's pop back in to where I was working on my shop. Oh, yeah, just before you guys get mad, I have gone ahead and replanted all of this area here because I'm deforested. Replant, that's the way you do it. I mean, also fear on other people if they want wood. Okay, just just letting you know. Goodbye again. Whew! Here we go, everyone. We are back at my store here after that collection. And I do need to work on adding some more items along here. I've just got the issue of having no more redstone. I've sadly run out of that there. I'm going to be adding on bits and pieces, but I'm not exactly sure on the prices. But as you can see, I'm... I'm still working on the prices here. So that's all I've got time for really today. Next episode I should be able to work on a few other things. And yes, this is, this is third or fourth take. Because for some reason my audio sounds like it all, goes all fuzzy in that there. Don't know why. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy watching this. My always weird content. Should be some new content coming out soon. Be it Minecraft or maybe something else. Definitely not Fortnite. No. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.